What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome to the channel, boys. And we are back for Senior Day, the last home game of the regular season, the last game of the regular season. And we're going to be taking on no other than the Army West Point uh, Knights. And um, we have a chance, if we win this game, to guarantee that we'll have a better season than last year, a better record. And that's progress, and you know, that means we're heading in the right direction. Now, Cobra Man, we thought he was gonna come in the squad, but he's verbally committed to KU. That's Kansas, right? That's tough. Mitchell, we're down to second on his board. Come down here. We lost uh Albert Walton to Utah, so we can go ahead and take him off our list. We lost somebody else to Army last week. I forgot to cover that. But then we got guys like Charlie Lewis who's ready to come in and visit. And then we got two other guys visiting. So let's make sure we got everything unlocked that we need to have unlocked. We swayed academic prestige. Let's go. Can we sway fan base? He ain't trying to hear none of that. We're gonna talk about early playing time. Can we sway proximity to home? We do. So boom, we got our we have our angle, and now we know what we're gonna talk about. You know what I mean? For this visit this week, because we don't we don't have to wait long for him to come through. Let's go ahead and schedule that visit. Week 13 versus Army. Talk to the professors. We're going to discuss the death chart, and then we're going to talk about proximity to home. Next up, we got Anthony Williams. Now remember, these are all the guys that we added real late because we just had some extra time and everything like that. So let's go ahead and talk to him. He doesn't seem that he doesn't seem like thrilled to talk to us, but now that's going to change his tune because we're talking about something that he likes. We need to be able to sway fan base a little bit. We are unable to. Can we fan? Woo! Let's go. We're able to sway early playing time. That is big for us. We get that up to average. That's going to give us some positive points. Now, you know, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We're going to schedule what he's going to do this week when he comes to campus. So, boom, we're going to talk to the professors. Talk about early playing time. And then I let the computer decide the third thing because I don't want to be wrong. I mean, they, they could be wrong, too, but it is what it is. Now let's call Carlton Love. Remember, we're just trying to get a lot of depth at a lot of these positions. Uh, now, one thing with him, he won't. We can't really guarantee early playing time there, which is cool, right? Not really, not really, not really mad at that. Um, proximity to home is the A plus though, and it's the thing he cares about the most. So I think we'll definitely thrive off of that. And like a lot of these lower, you know, star players, they really care about that academic prestige because you know they're getting a free education. Even though I don't think that's all players should have to get, they're getting that free education. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, they know their life after foot, their life after college when it comes to football might not be that long. Now, another person we want to work on, Tom Mitchell, man. We need that middle linebacker presence here on the squad. We'll try to make some shake. Uh, early playing time. He's going to play immediately when he comes on campus, right? That's the thing he cares about the most. So that's something we're going to really try to drive the point home on. Um, when it comes to uh, fan base, he doesn't care. Pro potential, not something we do the greatest C+. Plus. It will help if we have somebody get drafted over the next few years. Academic prestige, unable to sway that. That's tough, but, you know, hopefully that was enough to get him to, you know, swing swing the pendulum our way. Uh, ECU took took took. took over for us, but we're like the same caliber school, so I don't really see, you know, I mean, being that bad. But then we got Jay Culver, Kansas is over us. Kansas, I'm sure, has a lot more to offer than we do when it comes to things like academic prestige, doesn't care. Fan base, he does care. Uh, early playing time, very low, he doesn't care. Proximity to home, no, something we do well. Pro potential, we got C plus pro potential. Now, if this was, if this was like now, current time, the pro potential will be a little higher because they got quite a few receivers, you know what I'm saying, that are in the league and thriving or doing their thing. Um, trying to find some other things that he'll kind of care about. I mean, academic prestige, we can kind of sell with C+, so I'm happy with that. Hopefully, we can make a, a shift. Now, what's something that we do better than Kansas? Um, he doesn't care about early playing time, but Kansas doesn't do it well. Our proximity to home is a little bit better, so we'll throw that in there a few times before we get up out of here. Now let's jump, let's give us uh, some points to Greer here. We just jumped up on, you know, first on his list with we'll those 20 on him. A lot of these guys now might be like, you know, little, 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 little quick uh, recruiting, little quick calls because there's not much we really need to say. Now when it comes here to Joe Sullivan, definitely somebody we want to bring in. So we're going to wait for him and Carl Latimer. We're in the mix with a state. Um, I'm not going to verb. I'm not going to actually call him because I'll take too long. Uh, we're just going to throw some quick time with some other guys. Throw 20 minutes on Estes, who I'm really fully expecting to sign to the squad. Throw 20 minutes on Henderson. We already talked to Culver. Let's go ahead and throw 20 minutes on Montgomery. Um, let's see. We got 10 minutes on James. Then we got Madsen. 
We're going to throw 10 minutes on him as well. That leaves us at an hour, 40 minutes. We're going to go ahead and throw 10 minutes on Justice, who commits, baby. Let's go. We throw 10 minutes on Matt Justice, and we get the outside linebacker to sign to the squad. 6'4", 231, baby. That's another recruit sign. Let's go. Now we got Albert Smith, the quarterback. It's another guy I really like. Like, what is he waiting on? He doesn't sign. Thought we can get lucky, quote unquote. And now we got two guys left, and this is exactly why I wanted. We got Tally. So we got 20 minutes for Tally. We're going to go ahead and give it to him. Anthony Tally, he doesn't sign like I hoped. Then we got Joe Sullivan. We're going to go ahead and actually call him and try to make a difference. We're going up against Duke, man. Going up against Duke. Um, above average academic prestige. Duke is known for that. Coach, uh, they got his beaten coach. Early playing time, they, they, they can offer early playing time. But when it comes to proximity to home, they're a B and we're in... We're a C, all right? So we can't really talk about that. So let's just, we can't dirty Mac, but let's just talk about the things we do well and try to shine through those. Um, boom, let's talk about early playing time as well. We're going to end the call just talking about early playing time, and then we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Boom, all right. So recruiting was successful. We got another guy to sign here in the last week of the regular season, another outside linebacker. You know what I mean? We're really, really getting depth on the defensive side of the ball. You let us see it. All right, guys, so coming into this week's matchup, Army's four and six. We're seven and four. Kirk and Lee are split. Kirk's going with Army. We got three visitor prospects. We already went over that. We're better than them, you know, on paper in every sense of the word. They're better than us in rush offense because that's all they do. Total defense. And then they're better than us in pass defense. And they're number one. No, I'm sorry. They have their they're positive. They're plus one in turnover differential to our negative six. Take a look at their schedule. Loss, win, loss, win, win, loss, 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 loss. Then they beat SMU. They got us in Navy. And then, you know, take a look at us, man. You know, it didn't start off the greatest. One, We won one, lost three. We won four, lost one. And now we're on a two-game win streak. Let's get back to that three-game and take that momentum into the bowl game. All right, boys. Welcome to Fort Collins, Colorado, boys. We are here for senior day. And I'm actually going to back out of this because we, we need to highlight all the seniors. Damn. All right, boys. So... Before we jump into the game, boys, you already know it's senior day, so we're going to highlight our seniors and make sure they're starting. You know what I mean? So for this game, we're going to go ahead. So for this game, we're going to come out and give marks to start. You know what I mean? Just temporarily, of course. We're going to give them the start. It's senior day. Got to show love. Um, Durbin is a senior, so he's going to start over Joseph. Coming over to the fullback. Our fullback is a senior. We got Bennett. Um, let's see. Brent Thomas already starts. He's a senior. Tight ends, we're going to go ahead. Oh, that's Durbin, so that doesn't count. Uh, see what we got here on the offensive side of the ball. Alec Amon is a tight end. He starts. Wait, Alec Amon shouldn't be a senior. I'm sorry, Nick Moore is was going to start here at left guard over, over King. Let's get that in. Boom, right guard. All, all underclassmen. Our guy Mark Starr already starts at right tackle. Uh, left in. Smith is a linebacker. Torian Curry is already a senior. He starts the tackle. A senior starts. Uh, let's see. Outside linebacker. Our guy, Jarrett Smith, is going to start over Melvin. Melvin, middle linebacker. We got, oh, Jarrett Smith. All right, we already put him in a start. Boom, so we're good there. Right outside linebacker, Jarrett Smith, same person. Here at DB, Ostrander already starts in place, so we don't got to worry about that. When it comes to safety, we're good. Boom. So, yeah, there it is, boys. We got all of our uh, seniors coming in to start, ready to get in for senior day. All right, boys, here it is. Welcome to Fort Collins, Colorado, boys. It's a beautiful day here for senior day. It's going to be the last time some of these guys lace it up and, you know, put on those pads for Colorado State. Let's make it a special one. All right, boys, here we go. Let's get to it. You know what time it is. We know what offense army runs. Get to the ball. That's all I'm going to say. Get to the damn ball. Oh, wow, they're coming out passing. Who would have thought that? Who would have thought that? Clark. Clark, he almost caught it on you, boy. Come on. Wow, Army came out surprising me. I almost guessed run, too. Wow. Okay, Army, I see all y'all. Yeah, all right. All right. Okay. Let's get it in there. There's the run. There's the run. All right. Ooh, and it's holding there. We're going to bring it on back. Bring it on back. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on back. So second to 20 here for Army. You know what I mean? They had to hold to try to pick up some yards, but... We're going to learn them something here, bro. Man in motion. Here we go. They're actually back to pass, surprisingly. Come on, Schroeder. Catch the ball, baby. Let's go. 
Let's go, man. Third and 20. Y'all know what time it is. Back up off him. Back up off him. Let's lock in here. Come here. It's a sack. Oh, no. He got out of the sack. And he completes the pass to the guy I was guarding. I thought it was a sack, but you know what I mean? Fourth down. Give us the rock. All right, guys. So we got our guy, Joseph Marks, in here. Starring at QB. He's not going to be playing the whole game, so don't get it twisted. Let's just see what he can do. Give him maybe a drive or two. And he hits Joseph out the backfield, who picks up seven. Let's go. All right. Second and three. Ooh, remember, Marks can run a little bit better than, uh, than what's his name? Than, uh, than Malone, as you see there, completes the pass to Jacob Hill, who puts the moves on the DBs. First down, baby. Let's go. All right, first and ten. Hand off to Durbin. Another senior. See what he can do. Let's go. All right, second and four, boys. Here we go. Marks with the handoff to Joseph, who gets stuffed in the backfield. Well, gets back to the line. All right, third and four. Let's pick this up, boys. Here we go. Come on, Marks. I need you, baby. I need you, Marks. I need you. Okay, Jacob. Eh -eh. Okay, Jacob. Okay, Jacob. Get busy there. Let's go. Come on, man. All right, boys, so Marks in the office come out ready to go. The defense get made a stop. Like, you name it, boys. We out here doing it today, man. You love to see it. Boom, there's the run we want. We right there with Elijah Toro. Let's get it. We got a second and 12 here, boys. Let's go. I'm about to sneeze. Play action. Let's go, Elijah Toro. That was all user alert, too. Oh, get off me, little boy. To the 10, 5, touchdown, Rams. Oh, my goodness. We about to go crazy here on senior day. Second and seven here. We're going to go ahead and blitz. I trust this playing man. Turo trying to get in there on the sack. Ah, I was just close, bro. All right, lock in and lock up, boys. Lock in and lock up, boys. Oh, we got to get him to fumble there while he's jumping over something. All right, second and 12, boys. It's an option. Get there. Get there. Get there, fellas. Easy work. Come on now. I was going to blitz all them people, but let's get about it. I don't like that. I don't like that call. Let's play the pass, of course, naturally. That was my guy, and we're there to make the tackle. All right, so they might be faking this one. They might be faking this punt, bro. They're not. Punt is up. We're going to return it with Smith. Why not? Maybe we won't return it at all. Are you kidding me? Smith, really, fam? Now, we weren't even going to give up. We, we were probably going to shut these dudes out here today. And this man wants to muff a punt on the freaking three-yard line. Come on, man. First and goal. Get there. Get there. Let's go. See, take a look at the season Torian Curry is having. He's been a, he's been a, you know what I mean? He's been a blessing in the skies this year. Boom. Get there. So good block. Good block. Smith. Got one over the middle. It's Jacob Hills having a great game so far today, if I don't say so myself. All right. Second and one, boys. Here we go. Joseph is in instead of, uh, instead of Durbin there, but he picks up, picks up the first, but he's hurt. All right, boys. Here we go. Let's see if Durbin can get loose here on the screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, eh, eh. you got to break up out of that, baby. Let's go. All right, we're going to turn around and hand it off to our guy, Durbin. Let's switch things up a little bit here. A little bit of slide protection. Boom. Boom. Just give me the first. That's all we need. Just give us the first, baby. Way to run. Marks is really controlling this offense here. I was only supposed to give him a couple drives. I mean, it's only like his second drive, but I like the way he's playing right now. Boom. Take the easy. <gasps> Durbin, are you kidding me, dude? Of a nine route. We're going to do a freshman, Jacob Hill instead, and guess what? <laughs> First down, baby. Well, Marks does run well. That's one thing he could do that Malone really doesn't as he gets out of bounds. Good play. Think about giving the, you know, think about giving uh, Marks the, the rest of the first half. Just because I feel like we're in control of this game, honestly. I honestly don't feel like we're out of control of this. Got one. And that's why he doesn't start. All right, man, here we go. Got to get it there. Got to get it there, Marks. Way to hold on to it, baby. Malik White with a big boy catch, man. That's why he's on the depth chart where he is, fam. All right, first and goal. Big boys up front. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I tried to jump over the pile. Try to jump over the pile there. I don't even know if that works, but I hit square, and that's how I got picked up. 
Yes, sir, it is, baby. Let's go. Jonathan Durbin is in the end zone, baby. Where's my teammate? Who am I supposed to be celebrating with? Nobody? Nobody? Y'all some haters? Okay. All right, guys. This should and could easily be 21 nothing right now. But shout out to this Smith back here. Shout out to that guy. Everything he's been doing so awesome. Boom. We're a man. Come on. Let's go, Smith. Let's go, baby. <laughs> this defense is like that. Ugh. Yeah, man. Safe to say we're going to get that eighth win. That elusive eight win, eighth win that we didn't get last season. Boom. Marks back the pass. I'm going to roll out with him. I'm going to roll out with him. I'm going to roll out with him. Oh, I wanted to hit. I wanted to throw the ball to Brent Thomas, dog. All right, here we go. Uh, Third and three. He's got a step. Get it there, Marks. Brent, oh, why does why does he jump? You could have caught that just like in stride, fam. That ball was on the money. That ball was on the money, Marks. I ain't mad at you, fam. I'm not mad at you at all, baby. Let's see if we can pick this up. Look at Mark. See, look, Malone can't do that, bro. Malone can't just take off when the play breaks down. Malone is definitely still our starter because it's his army. They're D plus school. They're what we were. We, they're what we are. We what we were last year. So we, we got to take some of this stuff with a grain of salt. Oh man, nobody's open. He's got to step on him. Ah, good defense by the DB man. It's actually a weak zone. Marks with a good throw. He gets tripped up. Oh, I forget what the pitch button is on this game. Oh, we don't need it though. We don't need it though. As Marks picks up the first, we're gonna put Rouse on a uh, on a fade route. Ah, uh, he's got safety help though. Ooh, we take a sack. Nobody was open. All right, second and seventeen, boys. Here we go. Ah, uh, there's nowhere to go again, bro. Oh wow, we just let Riley help break his break a break a uh, old record, old army record here for sacks in the season. Oh no, he was so open, bro. He was wide open. Malik White was wide. It's our first time not converting on a uh, on a third down here today also. So that's tough, bro. But Antonio Graham doing what Antonio Graham does, knocking, uh, knocking the ball through the uprights, man. All right, guys, here we go. 24-6 is your score here. Didn't, things didn't get out, as out of hand as they could yet. Ooh, day, you lucky you didn't get old. You lucky, dog. Oh, good toss. Get out there, Osterner. Get out there, Smith. Good tackle by uh, Johnny Hall. All right, guys, we got the ball back. One thirty-five left for our guy Marks to do his thing, and I want to get—I want to get him to, to throw the ball to Thomas. Instead, we're gonna go to Malik White. Ooh, 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 good moves. There we go. Let's get it, boys. Oh, L one was wide open, but we had no way to stop and see him. Right, let's put our boy Amon on the, on the, on the, on, the, on, the, on that route. Oh, he killed him off the line too. He killed him off the line. Good block there by Joseph. Truck some. Truck something. Let's go, Amon. Let's go, Amon. Let's go, baby. You see Marks on the day. 10 for 16, 183 yards, man. You love it. We're going to hand the ball off to Durbin again. And he jumps over the pile again, baby. Let's get it, man. Forty seconds left here for Army. How do they play it? They go with the pass. I wanted to blitz with Toro. We missed. Now I'm gonna blitz again with Toro. Oh, that's you gotta catch those Schroeder. That's two drop picks here today, sir. All right, third and six, boys. Oh, they actually go to run, and we're there, baby. Come here, dummy. Give me the ball back, please. Oh, let's go, Smith. Way to break that tackle. All right, decent. Thirteen seconds. Let's go. All right, here we go, boys. First and ten. Man in motion. Marks back to pass. Go to Brent. Give me the first, Brent. Give me the first, Brent. All right. Let's use our second timeout. All right. First and ten. Seven seconds left. They're double teaming. Oh, no, they're not. Got them. Boom. Come over outside of bounds. All right. We're going to get a field goal out of this. We're going to get a field goal out of this. They got, a, they got their man back there. There's no wind in our face. I believe in Antonio Graham. I believe in the true freshman. The kick is up, and it is good, baby. All right. So we're going to the locker room of 34 Six after the 48 yarder from the true freshman walk on. You know what I mean? This game, you know what I mean? Shout out to the to the seniors who came out here and did their thing. It's time for the rest of the squad to get back in here to get ready for the bowl. But um, I'm really, really proud of what we saw out here so far. All right, guys. So M Malone is back here again under center. Joseph is back at, you know what I mean, RB1. And we ready to get to it. And we ready to get to it, baby. Let's go. All right, we go. Second, second, second and six. 
Oh, it's like, can y'all please block for your boy? I was blocking for Marks and them, no. Malone, back to pass. On the run, hitting Joseph. First down, baby, let's go. Get it to him. That a boy, Malik. Malik. Second and, uh, first and ten, rather. I said second and something. Come on, Joseph. Good run, baby. Good run. Got to gotta use the pass to open and run instead of the other way around. <laughs> then open up. Let's go. Pick it up. We're going for it regardless, though. Jacob Hill. He's been having a great game, and he's fighting for more. Malone out of the out of the pocket. Steps, fires, hits Joseph. He can't outrun the corner, but we pick up nine. All right, second and one. Hand off to Durbin. Uh -uh. Oh, good moves, baby. Let's go. What a run. All right, second and goal. Let's get it. Get it there. We got hit as we threw, bro. All right, man, that's tough, bro. It's tough, 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 tough. Man in motion. We're all over that run, dummy. Come here. Here we go. Second and 10. All over that, too. Third and 11. Do they pass it or do they just, you know what I mean, live to fight another day? Let's see. Never know what army, especially how they, they, they started off the game. They're actually going to run it. That's going to be a, a damn safety. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Melvin Melvin with the safety on the tackle, baby. Let's go, dummies. All right, 36. Six is your score. We're up 30. Ooh. Pocket collapse. Get up out of there. Jamal. Ooh. My bad, Jared. I didn't mean to get you lit up like that, family. All right, third and six. Off the back foot. Boom. Jacob Hill. Who else besides the kid, the true freshman coming through again, baby? Come on, Brent. Let's celebrate. All right, boys, here we are up 37. Still mad we're not up 43. We should 100% be up. You know what I mean? We should be shutting these boys out right now. The fact that we're not, it's all because of Ronnie Smith. All right, second and nine. That's my guy. Ah, I, I thought he was running a different route. Wow. Boom, get there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, Ronnie. All right, third and 10. Here we go. Man in motion. Took that away. Come here. How do y'all not get a sack there, man? Like, come on, dog. Hey, man, you know what time it is. Get them fours up, man. Army trying to put a little drive together, dog. Oh, almost got the sack. Turo, they didn't let me jump, fam. Get back to it. I seen it. I couldn't get there. All right, so they about to score. So I guess the I guess the, the non-shutout was inevitable. Let's go, Toro. Big tackle there. We're going to go. Man in motion. We're all over there. Didn't mean to lock on either there, though. Third and goal, boys. Let's go. Let's get a pick, man. Oh, way to knock it loose, baby. Let's go, Australia. That big hits. I was trying to click on somebody to get around, but they, they, you know what I mean? Wouldn't let me live. Can I live? Chaz Day, go over to your man, dog. Come on, Clark. Wendell, catch it, baby. But hey, so we would have shut them out because they had to go for it. First and 10, boys. Let's go. Malone back to pass. Wide open, Jacob Hill. Oh, look at the blocks out there by Mike Rouse, actually. Mike Ross actually out here blocking, baby. All right, third and six. See if you can pick this up. We've been solid. Boom. Give me that, Malik. Give me that, Malik. Give me that, Malik. First down. Let's go on the ball. Third and one. All right, Malone, just pick it up. I believe that's like, what is that? Like eight for 10 on, on first downs now, on third downs. Oh, wow. I almost missed you. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. There we go. Can I get it to him? Mm, I had L1, but I wasn't trying to get the touchdown. All right, second and goal. You got to beat him. You got to beat him, Nate. You got to beat him to the corner, Nate. Let's go. Just throw him off you then. All right, boys, we did it. We are going to get that 50 burger. The kick is up. It is good. 56 is the score right now. Should be 50 to nothing, man. All right, man. First and 10, 26 seconds. Why not? Why not? Come on, Brent. You got him beat. Oh my goodness, that was a dime. Got to get mine. Oh yeah, Brent. Oh yeah, Brent. That's how you end see your day, baby. All right, guys. So we're going for two here because you know I have OCD with uh with even numbers, and I want to have 58 over 57. So here we go. Get it to him. Let's go, Jacob Hill. Continue to have one of those days, baby. All right, boys. So the clock is triple zeros here. 58-6. Is your final score here on Senior Day, dog?
this team play absolutely out of their minds, bro. Defense was on point. Clearly, we only gave up six. The offense was on point. We scored 58. I mean, you name it, we did it, dog. All right, so take a look at the score summary. 14-6 in the first and 20-0, 9-0, 15-nothing. Team stats, we outrushed them. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm looking on the wrong side. So we scored more, of course. We had 23 first downs to six, 558 total yards. We ran for 100. We threw for 455. We were 10 for 12 on third downs, 83%. One for one on fourth, one for one on second, second downs. We were only 57% in the red zone. We were in the red zone seven times and only scored four. I don't recall. Uh, we had both had two turnovers. We lost a fumble and threw a pick. We caught two picks. Dominated time of possession, and we only had one penalty out here today. We had 634 total yards off of well, total yards, not of offense. Let's take a look at both QBs. So, first senior day, Joseph Marks, 12 for 18, 219, a touchdown, no pick, 66 completion percentage. Jeremy Malone, 13 for 18, 236, three touchdowns, the one pick, 72 completion percentage. Marks was uh, sacked twice. On the ground, 23 yards for Joseph, 24 yards and two touchdowns for Durbin. Marks with 24, Malone with 20, and Dingle with 12. On the ground, I mean, through the air, Jacob Hill. Jacob Hill on senior day, the true freshman, 7 for 161, two touchdowns, 6 for 44 and a touchdown, 4 for 46, 3 for 94 and a touchdown on senior day, 2 for 46, 2 for 17, 1 for 47. Blocking wise, Olsen gave up, the, gave up one of the sacks. Austin gave up another. Hill, Austin, and uh, Olsen all had pancakes. Defensively, Elijah Toro, seven tackles led us there. We didn't have any sacks. A pick to Brandon Smith, a pick to Elijah Toro, and a big fat W out here today. Lowering the boom. Army is licking their wounds after a 58-6 Colorado State whipping. All right, boys, so we move the week. We pick up uh, We pick up a recruit. Oh, no, we were there for that when we picked up Justice. Well, how many more? How many weeks in the season do we have? We have two bye weeks here before the conference championship. So I'm going to take care of some recruiting. Y'all probably won't see it. You know what I mean? Culver's still holding on. And then, you know what I mean? Ooh, we go down on Latimer and Greer's list. But I'm going to recruit. And then, oh, we lost Montgomery to Tulane. Okay, get him up, all, up out of here. But yeah, I'm going to do this. And then we're going to go over some, uh, you know, we're going to go over all the awards and stuff like that. Real quick, boys. One thing I forgot, we did have people visit. We had a B-plus visit for Love, a B-plus visit for Williams, and an A-minus visit for Charlie Lewis. All right, boys. So we move the week. We do lose Jay Culver. Uh, we, we lose him to Kansas. So all uh, good. And then we props possibly going to lose Carl Latimer here to Arc State. He's giving him a verbal commitment. All right, boys. So real quick before we sim the uh, conference championship week, Carl Latimer does go to Arc State. So we can go ahead and remove him. You know, we can't commit anymore. All right, boys. So here in the conference championships, we got uh, seven and five Clemson taking on number two ranked 12 and 0 Georgia Tech. We got number 17, 93, Georgia taking on number 9, 11 and 1, LSU. UTEP versus Marshall, number 24, Colorado taking on number 4, Texas. And then we got Buffalo taking on Ball State. I'm going to simulate them in the time of the game. So we got Clemson, Georgia Tech. Who's going to get the job done there? Georgia Tech's been hot all season. They blow out Clemson. Next, we got Georgia, LSU. Go ahead and sim this game. Uh, and LSU gets, no, it's not an upset. They're a bit higher ranked. Now we got uh, UTEP Marshalls. Go ahead and simulate through this game. And UTEP beats Marshall by two scores. Colorado, Texas. Colorado can really pay, play spoiler here for the BCS. And they lose by seven. Last but not least, we got Buffalo taking on uh, Ball State. All right, boys. So we're going to find out who won that game later, right? But uh, Georgia Tech's quarterback, Travis Cook, uh, 2,800 yards passing, 804 on the ground, 41 total yards. Uh, Texas's quarterback finishes second. I think it's still Colt McCoy. Penn State's quarterback is third. The running back from Wisconsin is fourth. And then Boise State's quarterback, I believe, is Kellen Moore. If I'm not mistaken, it finishes last in the voting. And we are going to be in uh, the Poinsettia, Poinsettia Bowl, Poinsettia Bowl, Poinsettia. All right, but it's in San Diego, right? We're going to Cali. I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali, Cali. We're taking on Troy. We're in bowl week one, too. Ugh, we were in like bowl week two or three last year. They're six and two on the season in their conference, and that's all six of their wins. All right, boys, so this is going to be your net. It's going to be Georgia Tech taking on USC. It's going to be a good one. Take a look at the award winners. Oh, no, that is not uh, Colt McCoy. So take a look at reward winners. Andrew Nelson, Texas quarterback, wins the uh, Maxwell. SMU linebacker wins the Bednarik. Uh, Nelson also wins the O'Brien. Dope Walker goes to Warren from Wisconsin. Best wide receiver goes to Texas Tech's receiver. The Mackey goes to the U. You know it. 
Best old lineman goes to Maurice Douglas from Wisconsin. Remington goes to Maurice Douglas. Lombardi goes to Craig Williams. Best linebacker to Prince Kane. Kyle Williams gets to Thorpe. Uh, the Groza James Wright. The best punter goes to Clayton White of Texas. Best returner goes to Will Washington of Oregon. And that's all the awards. Now, take a look at all Americans. Now, let's take a look at all Americans. Our rival actually gets all American, and Jonathan Myers, their running back, he goes for 1700. He deserved it. Uh, let's see if we have any first team All Americans. Colorado State, Colorado State. If we did have one, it would be on defense. No first team All Americans. That's tough. Second team All Americans. Let's see if we can squeak one in here. Colorado State, Colorado State. Wow, they some haters, bro. Freshman All American. We got to have one of these, right? And we do not. Wow. Wow, that hurts my feelings. I ain't gonna lie. Now let's go to the All Mountain West. Um, let's see. Do we get a first team all conference? Yeah, we do. Elijah Toro, the Juco Jr. 69 tackles, a sack, four picks, one touchdown, which was last game, two drop picks. We got Dan Ostrander, the senior. 41 tackles, six picks, two touchdowns, five drop picks. Second team all conference, our guy Jared Malone. 3,600 yards, 31 touchdowns. Yeah, he threw 28 picks. 305 yards a game. Better completion percentage than last season as well. Uh, anybody else on offense? Wow, that's surprising the way our offense was going off. Wendell Clark, the preseason All-American, gets second team All-Conference. Tackles are down. Picks were down by one. Scored the same amount of touchdowns. Had 11 dropped picks, son. Come on, bro. That's crazy. And then last but not least, our freshman, Antonio Graham, is a second team All-Mountain West kicker. 13 for 14 on field goals, 90%, 52, you know, for uh, for 100. I mean, 52 was his longest, 100% on uh, extra points. And he had 10 kickbacks this season. And then for his punting stats, uh, per punt, 39.2, uh, 38 punts, 1,500 yards, 1,200 net yards, 32 yards a punt, 49 was his longest. Had one block this year as well. Take a look at the big bowl games. We already went over the Natty, Orange Bowl, Penn State, Penn State, TCU. Going to be going for uh, TCU since they're in our conference. Texas, West Virginia, Fiesta Bowl, Alamo Bowl, Nebraska, Iowa, Cotton Bowl, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Sugar Bowl, LSU, Notre Dame, Rose Bowl, Wisconsin, and Bama. Let's see. What else is a big bowl? Chick-fil-A Bowl, Auburn, and uh, North Carolina. And those are pretty much all the big bowls. So that's going to do it here for this episode, boys. Season one, the regular season is in the books. We got our bowl game. You know what I mean? We're going to take a look and see what happens. We're going to get ready for the all season. We're going to reshape and retool and, you know, try to make a better push. We won seven games first season, eight games second season. I still don't think we're, we're going to be good enough yet to, like, really get over that hump to beat the top teams. But that's okay. We're going to be one of those, you know, mid-teams around until we get start getting the recruits we need to be uh, successful and competitive. And then we're going to build ourselves a dynasty here, man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Really trapped, so I had money way before the deal. Always Gucci down, they wonder how I could afford it still. Man, no out in bucks, he got a hell, he waiting on a bill. Stack it to the max, I really stashed away a quarter mil. Clumsy with them traps, I'm running down. If you leave them near, when they got a play.